Marco from Open Automation here. And in this project, we are going to build a power meter based on Arduino. So we are going to connect a single LED to a current sensor also connected to Arduino. And we are going to use these measurements and display them on a small OLED screen so you can see in live the current and the power used by this LED. So let's get right into it. So the first thing you will need an Arduino Uno board that you can see here. I'm using a, a DF robot Arduino board, but it's exactly the same as the official Arduino board. Next, to actually measure the current, you will need a current sensor. And for that, I use the INA 219 DC current sensor from Adafruit. So that's a very neat board that I can use to measure uh, any DC current on my projects. And we'll use this to measure the current actually in this little LED here. So that's just uh, a green LED and a resistor. We will use this as a test device, but of course you can use this project to measure any kind of DC current and power, uh, like an LED strip for example, where you have multiple LEDs in your home. That would be an application, also a DC motor, uh, you can use uh, this project also to, to measure consumption of one DC motor or several DC motors. Next, we will also have a small OLED screen on which we'll display the, the measurements of this project. So this is a very small screen from Adafruit as well. It's very easy to use with Arduino. It uses the I2C bus as well, just like the current sensor actually. So we'll be able to connect both on the same bus. And this is very easy to use with the library. It's just um, it's quite small, it's monochrome, so it's not nothing fancy, but you can of course use any other OLED screen that you would use with Arduino. And finally, we'll need a breadboard and some jumper wires. So here is the completely assembled hardware. You can see the different components that have been put on the breadboard. Here, I didn't show you the whole process to assemble the hardware because it's very complicated and I'm sure that even if I do it without the schematic in front of me, I will do some mistakes. So find how to do it, please refer to the article on the Open Home Automation website. You will find everything you need to assemble it. You will have a schematic, you will have the pictures and the detailed instructions. So really go there to find the complete process. So I just want to show you how it is assembled here. As you can see, just here you have the, the LED, which is connected to uh, here the ground, but also to the, the current sensor. And next to the current sensor, you have the OLED screen we saw before. And they're actually both connected to uh, the I2C bus to the Arduino board via these two pins here. They are both connected and it would just work fine with the Arduino board that can handle uh, multiple I2C devices. Here, you have the connection between the, the DC current sensor and the LED. And this is actually also connected here to uh, pin number seven of the Arduino board. So we actually going to switch pin number seven uh, between zero and one, and this will activate or deactivate the LED, and we'll see the different power consumptions right here on the screen. Okay, so we are now going to see how to configure your board, and also we are going to see the project in action. So actually measuring the power uh, in the LED on this project. So first, the code. So I opened mm. all the code from the project. Of course, you can find everything, a more detailed explanation of the code inside the article on the Open Home Automation blog. So first, you have the libraries that you have to import. So there is, basically, it's all libraries for the OLED screen here. And then you also have the library for the current sensor. So you can just install these libraries using the Arduino IDE manager. And so now we create an instance for the DC current sensor, also for the OLED screen. We define some variables here, which are for the current, the power inside the LED. Then we uh, initialize first the current sensor and we set, you know, like the, the best resolution uh, for the current because we want to measure small currents here. Then we initialize the OLED screen, we just 
do the init uh, part and then we just print a little ready message here and we also put the LED pin as an output. In the loop function of the stage, we'll do basically two things in continuous. So first we set the LED to be off. Then we measure the current, the power, we'll get back on this function later, and we display the data. Then we wait two seconds and we do the same, but with the LED now being on, which should actually print something on the screen. So the other function to measure the current, the power, um, for the, the power, uh, I just measure everything from the, from the sensor. And uh, as a result, I return the current times the voltage, which is a power. To display the data, first we clean the screen, then we first display the current and then the power. That's what you will see actually in the live test, which we'll, we will do now. Make sure to select the right board. So for this project, I use an Uno board, but of course you can have any kind of Arduino board for this project. So just select the right one and then select the right sale port. So here is this USB port here that is on my computer and it already recognized that I have an Arduino Uno board connected. And now we we'll simply first compile this sketch. This is done and now I will upload it to the board as you will see on the, the project. So now it's uploading and it's done and you can immediately you can see that there is some uh, current and power readings and that every two seconds we switch between the LED being off and on and as you can see on the picture the current is about 3.8 milliamps and the power is about 18 milliwatts you will say this is quite low for AD but I use a quite high um, uh, resistor value here so there's actually not a lot of current flowing to the LED so this was a project in action measuring the current and the power inside the LED and also uh, showing this data on the small OLED screen. So this is already the end of this tutorial. I hope that you enjoyed it. As usual, you can find the corresponding article with all the schematics, the how-to uh, of the project and all the code as well on our website openhomeautomation.net and here you will really find everything you need to build this project. So if you like the video, please share it around, subscribe to the channel so you can be sure to be alerted when new videos will be released. And that being said, thank you again for watching this video and I will see you in the next one.